What's up, DFS players? We have a huge MLB slate today, 16 games. We're going to be going through the best player props on prize picks. So again, this platform is quite fascinating because you'll notice it doesn't matter what two picks you select in a two-player prop pick entry, you're getting 20 to win 60, 20 to win 40 in profit plus your $20 stake back. So essentially, any two-player prop pick entry on prize picks, you're just getting plus 200 odds. So what that means is you need to be hitting player props at a clip of 57.74% mathematically to break even on prize picks. You need props hitting at a rate above 57.74% to be profitable over the long run on prize picks. So if you're winning your props 60% of the time, you're going to crush prize picks. If you're winning your props 50% of the time, you're going to go bankrupt on prize picks, right? So you need to be looking for player props that have an implied win rate or have a win rate above 57.74%. So what I like to do, and we've already gone through one of these picks, is use the odds jam positive EV tool. This will show you sharp DFS, you know, player props and picks, as well as, you know, good sports bets. So we can see Right here, Clayton Kershaw under 14 and a half outs. It looks like there's some pretty good value on Caesars, plus 168, considering the sharpest bookmaker is pricing this all the way down at plus 127. So that's a good sports bet, but we're talking about prize picks. So what we can do is just kind of look for player prop line discrepancies on prize picks. So we see Kyle Schwarber over half of a base, and then we also have James McCann over half of a player base. So a player base just means they hit a single, a double, whatever, right? They have over one base, one plus base. So you can see, you know, the reason I like both of these props, and we'll go ahead and we'll 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 lock them in. So we want Kyle Schwarber over um, in the Red Sox Phillies game, or in the um, Phillies Braves game. It, that's what it is tonight. And then we also want um, McCann over half of a base. So we want to take both overs. And the reason we want to take both overs and we're going to lock in both overs, we already have this James McCann prop, is again, you want to look for true pricing discrepancies versus the sports books, right? You have the sharpest, most efficient betting market, which takes millions and millions of dollars of MLB bets, you know, and you want to be looking for true pricing discrepancies where the sports books have an over heavily, heavily juiced, and you can pick it up on price picks, right? So we can see here when all the sports books are pricing something from minus 165 to minus 178, that's definitely a prop you want to be on in your prize picks entry, right? The sharpest bookmaker in the world is pricing this all the way up at minus 170. So essentially, if we use a zero vig odds calculator, what this calculator will do is remove the vig from a sports books market and tell you what the sports book is implying the win rate for your bet is, right? So for Kyle Schwarber, uh, or for James McCann, over half of a base, so to record one plus base, our win rate is 58.73%. So 58.73%. So that breaks, that's higher than the break-even win rate of 57.74%. So we're just using real-time betting odds from the sharpest bookmakers, right, to back out true win probabilities for our picks, right? So essentially, you know, given that this is their market, they're juicing the over all the way up to minus 170, and they're pricing the under at plus 126. The sportsbook obviously thinks the under or the over is much more likely to hit, right? And you can quantify that mathematically using a no vague fair odds calculator, which just takes the sportsbook's market, removes the juice, removes the vague, and converts that into a fair, true win probability. So you can see here, you know, this is what's shocking about prize picks, right? We're getting plus 200 odds on Schwarber and McCann both to have one plus base. So if we actually go to, you know, any two picks, right, you're just going to be getting plus 200 odds. Our payout's not changing depending on if we pick the overs or the unders. 20 to win 60, 20 to win 60. It doesn't matter. Now on DraftKings or a sports book, right, it's completely different. If you take Schwarber and McCann under, you'd be getting plus 372 in this DraftKings parlay, right? Because the unders are much less likely to hit. So if you take both unders and you parlay them together, and this is the exact same thing as, you know, placing both unders on prize picks, right? That's It's the exact same thing. Plus 200 odds, plus 372 odds, right? So... 
Anyways, if we switch these both to overs, on the other hand, so let's go up to James McCann, you know, we'd only be getting plus 171 odds. And again, on prize picks, we're getting plus 200. So now we're getting value to DraftKings when you're looking at both overs because the overs are much more likely to hit, right? So we can use real-time sportsbook data to find line discrepancies on prize picks because prize picks doesn't vary your payout depending on if you picked over the under. So that's the first one I locked in, James McCann. And then we can also just kind of finish up the math of this. So let's go back to Schwarber, which was actually the higher profit margin pick. Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book, is pricing this at minus 187, 5% profit margin on this DFS pick on prize picks. So we're getting 50 cents of improvement, right? The implied price, the implied odds from prize picks versus the true odds on the, or versus the sharpest bookmaker, right? So we're getting 50 cents of improvement. So the market on Pinnacle was minus 187, plus 138. So this bet is hitting 60.8% of the time right? We just need them to hit 57.74% of the time or more, and we're hitting this 60.8% of the time. So essentially, we now have two, you know, um, we have two player props in our prize picks entry, two MLB props for today, for tonight, and we know the win rate, which is quantified again, just using real-time odds from the sharpest sports book out there, right? You're using real-time betting data from the sharpest bookmaker to quantify the win probability of your bet, which is what makes the most sense, right? Sports books are betting markets. They're taking action all day. Their odds are indicative of the true win probability for a bet. So you want to look at the sharpest bookmakers, back out win probabilities, again, using this no vague fair odds calculator, most important calculator on Odds Jam. And, you know, get the win probabilities for both of your picks, multiply them together, and that's the win probability for your prize picks entry. So we should be hitting this at a clip of 35.7%. You know, you only need to win one of three to break even on prize picks. So this is a very profitable prize picks entry. I mean, long story short, you know, we talked about a lot of math and how, you know, how to make money on prize picks, prize picks strategy, all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, like... You just want to go to this page, look for spots like this, right? Top row, 5.17% profit margin. You see prize picks here. Here's the pick. You know, that is the true line discrepancy to the sharpest bookmaker where you have an edge as the DFS player and you want to lock it in. So just look for the picks in bold with a circle around them and then just find two on prize picks. So Kyle Schwarber, boom. And then we also had James McCann which is why I locked them both in. Data-driven sports betting, right? Just data-driven sports. Um, sports betting and DFS. That's all I care about. So locked it in. Let me know if you like it for tonight. You know, the profit margin of our prize picks entry is 7.1%. So quite profitable for an $100, you know, entry. We have $7 in profit margin. Again, just quantified mathematically using real-time odds from the sharpest bookmaker and finding these true, you know, pricing discrepancies. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's make some money.